Yo, what's happening guys? Welcome to your 25th Bootstrap 3 tutorial and in this video we're going to talk about carousels. Alright then, so carousels in Bootstrap are by far one of the most popular features that people use it for um, and it is really cool. Carousel is one of those things where you have a banner at the top and it kind of slides to the next image. So we're going to make one of those here and it's dead simple to make, we just need to know a few classes. Now, I've already gone ahead and commented out that Jumbotron that we did in an earlier lesson, and I've got three images here commented out that we're going to use in the carousel. So, I'm going to make it right at the top, just underneath the navigation here, and the first thing that we need to do is create a div to surround the whole thing, preferably not in capitals, and then give this a class of carousel. And then we also want to give it an ID because we're going to use the ID a bit later on. Uh, and the ID is just going to be anything you want. It's going to be unique to this. I'm just going to call it my slider for now. Uh, you call it whatever you want. And then within that div, we need to create another div with a class of carousel hyphen inner. Okay. And this is all the inner content within the carousel. So the, uh, the slides themselves. Now, each um, kind of slide within the carousel is called an item, and it's probably best to contain it within a div with a class of item. You can just use images straight away, but if you want things like captions and whatnot overlaying it, it's best to put them in a div. So what I tend to do is this. I do a div with a class equal to item, like that, and then I put whatever I want within that slide in this div. So that can be an image, or some text or an image and text. For now, what we're gonna do is just place in this first image right here. So I'm gonna copy that, I'm gonna paste it, and then what I'll do is come down here and I'll do a new item, div class equals item. In fact, what I'll do is I'll just copy and paste this again, because we're gonna have three slides and I'll paste that down below. All right, so in the second item, I'm gonna have this second image right here, the wizard. So we've got a ninja and wizard. Next, I want the coder at the bottom. All right, so then we've got three slides here, right? Each slide is an item. So each slide has this class of item, and then in it we've got a an image each, okay? Now, if we save this now and view it in a browser, nothing is gonna show, and that's because none of the items here are active. The idea is that Bootstrap cycles through each slide and the active one will show, okay? Only the active one. Now, none of these are currently active. So let's go ahead and set the first one to be active. All right, there's our ninja dude. And uh, there it is, there's our carousel. However, this isn't kind of rotating through the images. Now we have to do one more thing for that to work. And the thing is to add a data hyphen ride attribute and we're going to set that equal to carousel when we save that and refresh this after about five seconds should start to cycle through the images so every few seconds or so it's going to show a new image so there's gandalf our wizard and then finally hopefully it's going to show our programmer there all right cool so the transitions are what i'd call modern <laughs> it's just kind of flicking from one to the other so we can add another class to this carousel called slide which are going to make the transitions a little bit more smooth and they're going to slide from one um, image to the other and that looks a bit better all right now i'm going to stop this carousel for a moment because what i want to show you now if i save that and just refresh so it doesn't go sliding through what i want to show you now is how to add a caption right so like i said these are our items each one of these is a slide right and the reason I did this is because not only can we have images in the slide, but we can also have a caption or any other element that you want, right? Now, to add a caption, we just add a container with a class equal to carousel hyphen caption, just like that. And then within this caption, I'm just gonna put a H2 and I'll say something like, yo ninjas, let's kick some coding what a rock hard ninja all right so 
there is our caption over on the screen right now. And we can kind of style this up um, as we see fit in our own CSS styles. What's cool is it's got this little drop shadow, so it does stand out a little bit from the, uh, the image, so that's cool. Now, if we add one of these to each slide, just to take a look what happens. All right, and then put this back to carousel and refresh over here. Now hopefully it's gonna slide through all of these different items and show uh, the caption on each one. There, there we go, so Gandalf. And finally our trendy programmer there, all right. All right, so that's how we make a simple slider or carousel with Bootstrap. Now there's one or two more things I wanna show you. The first one is how to add those little chevrons to the left and right of the banner, that when you click them, it goes to either the previous or next slide. So we can add those under here. You wanna come outside the carousel inner, so we'll just come after that. And then we wanna just do a simple anchor tag. And within that, we need to give it a class of, first of all, right, because this is the direction it's going in, so it's gonna appear on the right of the slide. Then we give it another class called carousel-control. Oops, control. Okay, and we also want to give this a href attribute, and we want to set this equal to this thing right here, this ID that we added on the slider before. That's why that's important, okay? So we want to put the hash sign first, and then put the ID. Now we want to do a data-slide attribute, and set it equal to next. This is going on the right-hand side over here. It's going to be an arrow over there, so that when you click on this, it's going to go to the next slide, in the stack, okay? So that's telling Bootstrap right there that when you click this anchor tag, it's gonna to go to the next slide. All right, so now in between that, what I wanna do is actually display the chevron itself. Now we're gonna use Bootstrap's icons to do this, um, and I'm gonna talk about icons in a later video, so don't worry too much about this right now. All I wanna do is add a span class of glyph icon, and then to say which kind of icon we want to use, glyph icon hyphen chevron hyphen right. Okay, and now we're going to see that chevron appear right there. Okay, so what we want to do is exactly the same for the left, but instead of right here, we need to put left and the same under here, left. And then finally, we want to change this next to prev or prev which means previous, obviously, and uh, now we get this one over here. And what's cool is when you hover over the chevrons, you see this little gradient appears on the left and right. That's a pretty neat effect, and you can actually click anywhere in that gradient to go left or right, such as that, okay? Pretty cool. Now, we can also have a different kind of navigation on this slider, and uh, it's quite common. You sometimes see them at the top here or the bottom, like little circles, one circle for each slide. And when you click on one of those circles, it takes you to the corresponding slide. All right, so we can add that up here. What we wanna do is an OL tag, and then we give this a class, and the class is gonna be carousel indicators. Indicators, like that. And then within here, we wanna add an li tag for each slide. Now we have three slides, okay? So we wanna add, uh, add three li tags, and each li tag is gonna to correspond to a slide, and it's gonna have one of those little circle icons at the bottom. Now within each li tag, we also wanna specify a couple of attributes. The first one being data hyphen target, and that is gonna be equal to, again, this thing right here, so we'll copy that, and we need to put a hash or pound symbol, first of all, like that, so it knows that it's this slider. And then the uh, the second attribute is gonna be data hyphen slide hyphen two. And this is where we're gonna say which slide we're gonna slide to when you click on this LI. Now, I always do it so that they kind of match up, so this will be the first one, right? In fact, let's just make three LI tags, because we've got three images. One, two, three. So this one will correspond to this, this one will correspond to this, and this to the bottom one, right? Now, JavaScript is gonna be controlling this functionality that when you click on one of these, it slides to whichever slide it represents. And JavaScript is a zero-based language, which means this is not slide one, it's slide zero. This is slide one, and this is slide two, 
So we don't start at one, we start at zero. So when we click on this LI here, we're saying slide to zero, okay? Then to one, then to two, just like that. So let's save that, and uh, now you can see those three little icons at the bottom, and when we click on one, it kind of navigates to that slide, all right? Pretty cool. Now, normally, when a slide is active, this icon would be a bit different for the active slide. It would be filled in or something. And we can do that with Bootstrap as well. All we need to do is add a class of active to kind of initialize that. Now, the first slide here is the one that's active when the page loads. So I'd guess that this one should be active as well. So let's give this a class of active and save that. And let's refresh over here. And now you can see that when it starts up, this one is active. If we click another, that becomes active etc okay pretty neat so there's just one more thing i want to show you now and that's how we can kind of control some of the functionality of this slider in javascript or jquery dead simple so let's come down here to the bottom where i have got my function right here i'm going to just delete this tooltip that we did in a previous lesson and uh, what i'm going to do is use jquery to say i want to get the carousel, oops, if I can spell it, that is, the carousel, okay, that's what we're looking for, it's going to return that element, and then we're going to use one of Bootstrap's methods called carousel again, and uh, then within this, what we're going to do is specify a few options, this is an object in JavaScript, we're just using object notation, you don't really need to know too much about it, it's pretty simple to lay out, we're just going to specify a few options in here, so we can say, first of all, the interval, and this is the length of time that a slide stays on the screen before it slides to the next one. So we can say interval, um, I don't know, 1,000. And this is in milliseconds, right? So comma, go to the next one. And then we'll say pause. We'll set this to false, which means that normally when you hover over the slide, it's not going to move. That's the pause effect, okay? If we set this to false, it's going to override that and even if you hover over the slider it's still going to move to the next slide after 1000 milliseconds right so the pause is going to be false uh, the wrap is going to be false and the wrap my friends is when we get to the end slide here it's just going to carry on automatically back to the first slide that's the wrap effect if we set this to false then it's going to say actually when you get to the last slide do nothing chill out and don't go back to the first slide all right so we're going to set that to false and then finally we can have a keyboard oops keyboard option and this can be true or false you know and this can be uh, basically if it's true then we can use the keyboard to control the functionality of this like the arrows okay so we'll leave it there we don't need a comma on the last one save that and uh, let's refresh now the slides move a lot quicker stupidly quick in fact but when it gets to the last one it doesn't move anymore okay and also i can use the keyboards to control this so that's it for this tutorial if you have any questions whatsoever feel free to drop those down below otherwise guys i'll see you in the very next one